Is when a man loves a man and hugs a man and rubs him around on the on the mat, it's uh, no longer a straight activity. Okay. Woo! Woo I'm going to kill everybody. Look! Look at the joy on this other guy. He should be holding a spear. The UFC specifically is like a welfare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two grown men kicking each other in the shins like a f little girl school fight. Joe Rogan, you're getting paid twenty million dollars. The only thing your peanut brain can think of is, oh, we got him right in the button. Here, oh my god, man. Best fighting content I've ever seen. He's not on Twitter typing, I I'm gonna absolutely hit him on the chin. That's one of the things that I, I, I've thought about from time to time is the difference between uh, best and greatest. Best just means that you're the best. If you were a robot with metal hands, you'd, pro you'd be the best fighter. But greatness is like an entirely different metric, and you, you have to be good to be the greatest, or you have to probably have to be the best to be the greatest. People in third world countries know who Muhammad Ali is to the same, to the same degree that they know about like um, the Pope or the Dalai Lama is because he was uh, present at a like tumultuous time and took dangerous uh, positions on social issues, like at a time when it was genuinely like it was, it was genuinely dangerous to his career. It damaged his career to oppose the Vietnam War. It's not just a, it's not just a woke thing. His personality, taking those risks, etc. That's why he was the greatest. That type of thing is is sorely missing from fighting nowadays. Fighting nowadays, it lacks the entertainment value of pride fighting from Japan. It lacks the entertainment value of big personalities going to war. It's not like golden uh, or or. Um, 70s 80s era boxing it's just it's, and it's missing it's missing people who are like willing to uh take any type of position on any on anything other than like fighter pay wherever they find these cart people like donkey hut tent people look at this guy man these are people that come from tents and it's the same with mma like the shit talking now in mma is it's at girl like it's embarrassing it's at girl level the lowest tier of like Facebook clickbait. I bet Jake Paul couldn't knock out Jamie Spicer. I mean, he's going for the championship crown. Oh yeah, look, look, I can't believe he said he would knock him out. Oh my God, I can't believe that. Ah. There used to be dignity. And there was also theater too. There was pr uh, pride fighting. Like if you want fighting that's real fighting with some rigged matches, sure. It's got the entertainment, it's got wow factor, it's got the personality, but it doesn't have this like gay high school shit talking. This is the coolest shit ever. This is Pride, which is a Japanese fighting league from the 90s. Best fighting content I've ever seen uh, is this right here. Oh my God, man. And they all had crazy walkouts and personalities too. Like, they did it big. Genki Sudo is one of my favorite fighters, entertainers of all times. Amazing. This guy's amazing, man. And this is all SD footage, so you can't, but listen, he's not, he's not on Twitter typing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely hit him on the chin and get him right in the button. That's another thing. They keep saying right on the button when they're yeah. when the announcer, and I've talked about that before, but it makes me it makes me so mad, man. It's like, oh, we got him right in the button. It would be like if you were watching baseball and the announcer kept going, and he's up at the plate, Abby's over the plate, and take, take me out to the ball game and buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. <laughs> Every 30 seconds, that's all you can think of to say, Joe Rogan, you're getting paid $20 million to be a Commentator, the only thing your peanut brain can think of is, oh, we got him right in the button. Shut the f up! <laughs> That's a real entrance. That's a man's entrance yeah. right there. That takes planning, preparation, imagination, creativity. He's not on Twitter saying he's gonna, he's gonna, <laughs> once I get a hold of you, I'm gonna knock you out. I'm really gonna hurt you. Shut the f up! This is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. Take notes. How hard is it to do a show like this? What does it cost to put a, a boxing match on? Like $10 million? Yeah. What does it cost to add this level of dimension? Like 15000 yeah. You have some costumes made. You play music. You got some guys in sunglasses. That's not an extra million dollars. This is peanuts compared to the cost of the event. Get some fucking imagination, man. You know, uh, Khabib? Heard the name. The, tre the trend now, the thing, the meta. First of all, first of all, the meta, the UFC meta for a while was leg kicks. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine a grown, gro two grown men kicking each other in the shins like a little girl school fight? Middle school little girls kicking each other in the, sh in the shins. 
When I was in, when I was a kid, there was this girl, Crystal Hubs, and Crystal Hubs they called her the Shinner, because she would go around kicking people in the shins. <laughs> that's that's the UFC meta. Oh, big tough guys. These are the toughest guys in the world, Joe Rogan. These guys are so tough. They're so tough. They kick each other in the shins for 15 minutes. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy's nice. I like um I like <clears throat> Muay Thai. I think it's more fun than boxing, and I'm also I'm better at it. I'm I'm actually pretty good at Muay Thai. I have like a nasty kick and whatnot. But um, for some reason, the UFC is just like boring. And this kid's nasty, and that's and striking is striking is way more interesting than the grappling stuff. But it's just I'm just so bored. Of the UFC. I'm burnt out. I just don't care. the The aesthetic, making everybody wear the same shorts, and then the shorts is is this like evolution of tribal tap out graphics but with a corporate twist like reebok what's the most the most vicious vir virus tribal design that reebok can come up with and i know that's fruitcake and not important but it's just seeing everybody wear the same shit, look the same doing the same shit, to the point where like a low kick meta game develops like the low kick meta game or the whatever it is the the of the month that means that everybody's doing the exact same shit to the point where to get an edge, you have to do something humiliating, dick kicks or whatever. I'm gonna kick you in the shins. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're, you're not gonna last through my shin kicks. Watch this, uh, 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 uh. You're not gonna last when I shin kick you and tickle your tummy. It's just, it's so dumb, man. But uh, yeah, this kid's nice. They're the corniest guys ever. Like Kam Kamzat Chemaev. He's like, whoa, whoa, yeah! I'm going to kill everybody. Like the most, the most cringe soccer player, European soccer players. They, the, like the Vodafone, their little sponsors. Like they have like companies that don't exist, like Vodafone and Opal. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shouting out their sponsors when they get a goal. It's, it's demoralizing behavior. It's the European equivalent of what they do in the NFL, which is the you know making these guys wear high heels for the the draft thing and dancing dancing around like little fruity fruity booties. Um, is that why you left the NFL? Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why I got out of the NFL, yeah. The UFC, these Arab guys, I just can't make myself care. It, w it wouldn't matter if he was the best fighter in the entire galaxy and he could fight a robot that was made of titanium and he could destroy a tank with one... I, I wouldn't care. If it's an Arab guy with a beard who's like, Come here, brother. i show you how I can wrestle you. I can't, I can't make myself care about someone like that. I like the I like Pride Fight Championships. I like Genki Sudo. I like the entrances. I like the the pageantry. I like the uh, I like Crow Cop. I like the crazy outfits. I don't care about some Arab. Like I don't care. I don't care if it's if there's like listen. If you told me that there's some Guatemalan guy behind Stop and Shop right now, yeah. and he's got the biggest biceps and he can crush a pineapple, I just don't care. <laughs> I don't care about some little hairy guy that's Muslim. I don't care if it's if there was a guy who was like he could slam dunk a basketball and he could row a boat 10 miles and he could do he could climb to the top of the world and he was the best F1 driver he was like the ultimate athlete if he was muslim and had a beard I wouldn't care good for him good on him have fun keep going okay go kick guys in the legs but I don't care I don't want to see that on any video screen I don't want to hear that I don't want to uh, you know the only time I want to see people praying to Allah is if I crawl in the back of a box truck and there's a guy <laughs> praying with a stack of carpets Oh, people hated that. Suck it. The fighter pay thing is so pathetic. The toughest guys in the world, and they're like, we're, I'm only getting paid 75000 every two years to get my brain injured. That's, that, that, that is wrong that that's the case. I see shit like that when I go outside and there's like homeless people. Yeah. Like, hey, can I, get a, can I have a drink? Yeah. Like, that's the, that's the same type of energy as a fighter talking about how he, he's like sacrificed his health for $15,000. Yeah. Then why don't you have a jo different job? Like there's the, the the fact that you're they're willing to like do that yeah. perpetuates that whole thing. Like the reason why, why the reason why Dana White can afford can get away with paying these guys these guys nothing to like bash their heads is because they're willing to do it. Yeah, a lot of them should just have real jobs too. The U the UFC specifically is like a it's like welfare. Like a lot of these guys should be just working at Chipotle. <laughs> You look at their fights and they, they don't, like, they're not, they're not dynamic. They, they obviously don't have the potential to ever be great. What are they fighting for? Guys who have regular jobs and are locals and will go do a fight just so, just so that they can do it.
Yeah. It's kind. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I like it though. It's kind of it's kind of nuts, especially like um, heavier guys doing MMA fights with four ounce or like little little gloves. Yeah. Where you can absolutely take a ton of damage. Yeah. From the local, it's just it's kind of nuts, man. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't like these Eastern European guys. And there's that's a, there's like a mystique about them, like oh they're from the mountains. Like Khabib is from the he's a uh, he's a Minecraft guy. He should be mining dirt blocks. They belong here. Okay, keep them here. Just keep it keep it in the mountains, guys. Stay here where I don't have to watch it. Grappling is silly, Billy. Yeah, it's a silly. It's uh when a man loves a man, which is good, which is a good thing, and pride. But that's what grappling is when you're wrestling someone and hugging someone, kissing them to make them submit. It's right there. I'm gonna make you submit. You're gonna submit. Yeah, there it is. That's what I do to my horses in Minecraft. Okay, the toughest guy at your jujitsu gym is the toughest guy who's afraid of getting punched in the face. That's reality. That's true. Next time you hear somebody's quote about jujitsu, jujitsu is strength. Jujitsu is life. When I put down the, when I got on the mat, I realized that was where my soul was because jujitsu. That's the toughest guy who's uh, um, scared to death of getting hit in the face. Still a tough guy. He's a pretty tough guy. Because when a man loves a man and hugs a man and rubs him, rubs him around on the on the mat, and it just gets a little greasy and sweaty, um, it's uh, no longer a straight activity. Okay, so maybe don't. Pour your life and heart and soul into that, okay? Unless you want to touch and rub a guy, okay? <laughs> That's what you could do, okay? That's when I first started doing jujitsu. I was like, oh, this is this is awesome. This, this stuff actually works. Yeah. And like Nick would be like, oh, I think that's gay. Yeah. And uh, I didn't realize Touched a lot of guys there, Sam. Yeah. Once <laughs> I didn't realize till I was like three years in, I had someone's like asshole in my face. Yeah. Like asshole and pussy face location like this, but it's a guy. Uh, and then I was like, oh, I see what they're saying now. Damn it. Got me again. Got me again. <laughs> this fat guy sitting on my face. This fat Hispanic guy sitting on my face. Got me again. On a serious advice tip, you should at least get the blue belt level because it is a good thing to have in your... I'll watch the girl slapping. Yeah, yeah. Good fun. Damn. <laughs> Logan Paul's having the time of his life. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't care about this. This is one of those things where it's like... When you learn that it's a real thing, yeah, you're like, oh my god, that's the most interesting thing in the world. I need to watch it now. And then, like after after you watch ten of these, I don't think you need to see any more. I especially don't care that it's these like is dysmorphic the right word? Malformed, abnormal, grotesque, misshapen. <laughs> misshapen is a good one. That it's these like misshapen European people, people that like crawl out from the mountains and the sewers of of Europe and especially Eastern Europe. He looks like he's from a fantasy movie that's like a silly fantasy movie, like Princess Bride or something. And he's like a, a human donkey hybrid that's like, That's the line he would be saying. He looks like the guy that would be alerting the the like village that the walls are being breached. In, yes. It does a fire, don't put the town. <laughs> um, look, look at the joy on this other guy. Like that, that's especially embarrassing. Like, uh, oh man, he knows his cut. Oh. He should be holding a spear, rock eater, caveman. And that, that type of joy, you see that a lot in soccer when they score a goal. When they score a goal, they get, they get more hyped than Muhammad Ali ever. Like, they get more hyped than any football player of all time. The goal that I just scored in soccer, you just put a ball in a net. You put a ball in a net. You didn't like physically triumph over some, like you didn't climb a mountain. You didn't win. Uh, you're not the world champion boxer. Like nothing, nothing about what you just did merits your body being filled with dopamine. And like the, so when soccer players have joy, it, it's always so embarrassing to see him running around. Cause he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this, this guy, he looks like the shopping cart man Goal. like if, he, like right now he looks like a homeless guy that found like a cigarette in the shopping cart like that's the kind of <laughs> that's the kind of excitement 